dollars in box office receipts, with subscription to digital cable or satellite TV. Availability and price may vary. 18 at the hour here on the I'm in the morning program. I was talking to Joseph Aboud about these new bomber jackets we're selling to ABX through. Uh, uh, from Averex, and he said the auto sell them for seven hundred bucks a pop. Yeah, but it is it is a it's, I've been looking for a bomber jacket for years, and I just didn't know about the Averex company, and so uh, we made a deal with them, and we're selling the uh, Averex fifty mission A two vintage lambskin bomber jacket for three fifty seven fifty seven. You can't buy it for that any place, and it's all for Father's Day. The Averex one eight hundred two seven two nineteen fifty seven. And what you get with that for Father's Day, this is a great deal. You get a fat loser, lion weasel, or bald-headed geek, first-class, heavy-duty cotton twill uh, baseball cap, and a uh, heavy-duty uh, cotton T-shirt, mm -hmm. not a cheap, flimsy oh, T-shirt. No. With real heft to it. With you know? uh, matching yeah. letters of either fat loser, lion weasel, or bald-headed geek. Yeah. Free. Excellent. Free. Unbelievable. Uh, with a jacket. That's a $50 value, plus you can't buy the jacket. Any place else oh, for that. A boot suggests that it ought to be about a half price. Uh, uh, T-shirts come in black or white. Jackets uh, are going to take about eight weeks for delivery. Maybe not quite that long. But you need to order now. The sooner you order, the quicker you get them. Now, if you don't love your dad enough to buy him the jacket for Father's Day, yeah. everything else at the uh, Auto Body Express for this Father's Day sale, now through Father's Day, 20% off. 1-800-272-1957. The Auto Body Express, as I mentioned, is sponsored by uh, Nikon. We <laughs> are... Uh, Taking advantage here of the Iris Morning Program of America Online Instant Message Service. And you can send uh, me a message at IMS, IMUS, WFAN. And uh, some of them we'll read on the air and others we won't because many of them are irritating. Right. Tomorrow we'll be at the Turning Stone Casino up in Utica broadcasting live on our very fine affiliate there, 92.7 FM. And uh, our guests will be Jeff Greenfield and Fred Imus. And uh, a number of other people that uh, are not on my sheet yet. But, of course, Mike Francesa, because Mike is uh, the National Thoroughbred Racing Association. Uh, is contributing $10,000 for each Triple Crown race to the Imus Ranch uh, for Kids with Cancer and to Ronald McDonald House Charities. And so for this Preakness race, we decided to take the 10000 mm -hmm. and bet it on the race. And I said that if we lost the money, I would make it up myself out of Precisely. my own pocket. Yeah. So then Mike Francesa said he would guarantee that we would make at least 5000 on the 10, or he would make that up. Yep. So we won't lose any money. In addition to that, we now got uh, 5000 in cash from Bo Deedle, So we have $15,000 to bet on the Preakness. And Mike is guaranteeing that we'll get at least 20 back. Mm-hmm. We'll get the original 15 plus at least five. Yep. And if we don't, then Mike will make up that five, and I'll make up the other. Uh, the uh, I'll make up the original 15 if we lose all that. So that's essentially where we are. Excellent. So I have to. I'm on the arm for both five, which we're risking on the race. Right. And for mm -hmm. 10, that we're also risking. So Mike will be on tomorrow to discuss uh, all of that, and Fred will be on with his uh, pick of the race or whatever that is. They're all out voting now. Did uh, hey Bernie? Did uh, did Deidre, Chris, and Mike already vote? Yeah, they voted. Bernie has their votes. Oh, well, you have their votes. Yeah. We need we need a couple more minutes. Without without telling me how they voted, did they all vote for one person? Did they all vote for one person. No. Did no, they vote? No, it's not unanimous. If oh. That's your question. No. Oh, really? It's not. They did not oh, no, vote no, in no, a block. No. I didn't vote yet. Well, how about huh? now? Do we have Breen, Lupica, and uh, Deidre's vote yet? Uh, I ha Yes, I'm about to uh, put them in the uh, can right now. As a matter of fact, did Deidre, Lupica, and Breen all vote for the same person? Deidre, Lupica, and Breen. Right. Um, I believe they did. Well, is it who we think they voted? Is it who we th originally thought they were going to vote it for? It might be. But we, the process is not complete. We're about ready to finish the process. I understand that. Well, let me talk to Charles now. All right. Well, our original suspicion was... Well, that the, Deidre, Lupica, and Breen were in the tank for Minko. That they would vote as a block. Right. Now, uh, if you, just between you and me, if we're going to judge uh, the 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 merits of the sportscast this morning, yeah, uh, they both sucked. They couldn't suck enough. No, in fact, they both I awful. mean, it was a debacle. Yeah. The only the, the, the good sportscast was you know who Congressman J D Hayward exactly gave the, gave a great sportscast. Absolutely. These two it was awful. Oh, please. 
So, Goodness gracious! It just it couldn't get any worse. So how how you would decide to, who to vote for is but uh, but we but we got to do it. Yeah. So I don't know. But I mean, in the final analysis, we're going to be stuck with one of them. Right. So who do we want to be stuck with? Well, based on this morning, yeah. I'd, I'd I'd flip a coin. They're really disgraceful. Yeah. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Of just how much they sucked. <laughs> and you think, Luby? Mike Lupica here. You've got to beg Breen to come back. Well, we have begged Breen to come back. And it, it, it's, it's not working out. No, he won't come back. Oh. Well, you're locked in now. It's like the Survivor deal. I understand that. You got the... Yeah, somebody's going to get the... It's a Richard Hatch deal. Somebody's, well, somebody's going to be Richard Hatch. Somebody's going to get the big bucks. Well, that Deirdre had the, one of the better observations. That was that uh, Sid reminded her of Jerry from the current... <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was perfect. In yeah, fact. so... <laughs> man, what a, God almighty. What a bunch of losers. Oh, well, man. We're talking with the mayor...